if you've seen some of my other videos, I briefly explained in, I think, the crew areas of this place right here called the Crew Laundromat. Or as I like to call, Satan's <laughs> Asshole. There's about two of these rooms on each and every ship, and they have 10 washers, 10 dryers, half of which are broken at any given time, and average crew size about 2,000. So you don't need to be really good at math to understand that those numbers don't add up. When I do laundry on land, it takes less than 90 minutes and that includes travel. My best time on the ship has been three hours and 45 minutes. The worst time, six hours and 23 minutes. Yes, I do keep track of the time that it takes me to do laundry on a cruise ship. Besides the obvious, the reason why it takes so long is because of scenarios like this. For the most part, this is how the layout is on any ship. Uh, a lot of the bigger ships are doing a little bit differently, but a lot of the older ships still follow this format, regardless of which company that you're going for. So here's your cabin, you're on deck three. Deck four is right above you, and that's where the I-95 is. So here you are coming out of your cabin with your bag of laundry you can't go through this way because there's a watertight door here so forget about that you got to go up these stairs come up the stairs you go along I-95 come down these stairs to check crew laundry number one so you go ahead you walk into crew laundry one and you realize there's no washers available can't go across this way because there's another watertight door. So back up these stairs along I-95 even further, come down these stairs, go into crew laundry number two. You realize there's no washers available here either. There you go. Crap, I gotta be at work in about 10 minutes. So you come back all the way up through here, come down, back into your cabin to drop off your laundry. So once again, take two. You come back from work in about two hours or so. Here you are, you're gonna try again with your laundry bag. Can't go through the watertight door. Gotta go up the stairs and cross I-95, come down the stairs, go into here, through laundry one. Guess what, still no washers available. Can't go through here, watertight door. Come back up the stairs, across I-91, come down the stairs, come into crew laundry two, and you realize that there is one washer available. Woohoo! Throw all your clothes in there, it's gonna take 30 minutes, no problem, gets it washed. So now, you go back to crew laundry two, you realize, all right, my stuff is done, and now I'm gonna dry. But now there's no dryers available. Sometimes what you do is you'll end up taking your laundry, your wet soaking clothes, dragging them all up here, all along I-95 to come down into Crew Laundry 1. Hey, guess what, Crew Laundry 1? There's a dryer available. Well, the reason why it's available is because it doesn't really dry clothes, but you don't know that. So you put all your wet clothes in this dryer, you go back up to work and you know, all right, it's gonna take about an hour, so I'll be back in 45 minutes. You come back in 45 minutes, you check on it and your clothes are wet. So eventually a crew member comes by and they start taking their clothes out of the dryer. So now this dryer has become available. You put your clothes in there, you know it's drying because they just took their clothes out of there and it's perfectly dry. So now you put your clothes in there and you say, okay, I gotta come back in about a half hour, 45 minutes to check on it. And one of two scenarios happens. Either one, you come back and you realize, you open up the dryer and you realize, my clothes are still soaking wet. And what happened is a crew member came by to check if there were clothes in a dryer. Oh, okay, there's clothes in there. They closed it, but then push the button back again. And so your clothes are not dried, are not drying. So you were gone for 45 minutes, but maybe 40 of those minutes, 
your clothes are just sitting there, only five minutes of drying time actually happened. The other scenario, which I love, is another crew member comes by and says, you know what, I don't want your clothes to get dried, I want my clothes to get dried. So they take all your wet clothes out of the dryer and throw them on the folding table so that they can dry their clothes. And this is a never ending cycle that happens over and 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 over again. So because of all this, what crew members normally do, and men and women alike, here's an example. Go down to the crew bar, maybe it's a night before sea day, so there's not a whole lot of people out. You get there about 11.30, and there's your regulars are there, that are there, but there's only about two people that you know, and like maybe a handful, a very small handful of people that you want to get to know. Then you go out for a couple of drinks, and you're, you're back in your cabin by 1.30 and getting ready for bed and you go well I didn't wear it for more than two hours so it's not technically dirty well, I won't wear it tomorrow but like maybe two nights from now I'll wear it and so what they'll do is they'll take the shirt throw it over the closet door and uh, wear it in the next couple of days and I tell you this because you will see it every day. Most crew members, you will only see them wearing the three same shirts every week.